Whoa, <laughs> what is up my YouTube friends? Welcome to another episode of Questions from the Truck. And you're probably wondering, Jerry, there was no reminder video. What's up with that? Well, this really isn't a Questions from the Truck. This is a thank you from the truck. Thank you for making this show what it is. Because without you, it would be nothing. It would just be me blabbing. Thank you for your participation, your questions, and finding answers to these questions in your comments. Thank you uh, for all that. You make it fun for me. Um, 2021 is going to be funner, if that's possible. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first Wednesday of the month next month, January, I will put a reminder video and we'll start the new season in 2021. It's been a fun year, like I said. Um, I, you know, I hope to go new places, but we'll see what the year brings. I took you to some cool places last year, well, this previous year, and, uh, Hopefully we can do it again next year. I want to also wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and whatever it is that you celebrate during this season. Um, I want to wish you a happy and healthy, prosperous New Year. Be well and be blessed. Be thankful, most of all. And, yeah, no matter your situation... Somebody's got it worse. Be thankful. Be thankful every day. And I have a question for you guys and girls. In the Christmas theme. What was your best memory of a Christmas growing up as a in your childhood? I'm going to give you mine. 1968. I was like six years old. It snowed. It was probably one of the only Christmases that snowed. And we got a lot of snow. So where I lived back then, I lived in Row House. And the back of our houses looked out over the fronts of the houses behind us. And I was close to the corner, so I kind of like... I was the second house from the corner, and I really got a good look at the front steps of the houses behind me. It was snowing, like I said. Uh, going to bed, my bedroom window looked out the back. And I just looked out the window because I was excited about the snow. And, uh, man, I love the snow. We used to have this hill that we used to go sledding down by, behind my house. And uh, I love the snow then. I can't stand it now. And who do I see going up the steps? Santa Claus. Man, I was so excited. My eyes were like saucers. I have a picture of that Christmas. I'm going to throw it up somewhere. And I remember waking up that morning and opening up my presents. Back then I used to love like horses and things like that. And the Lone Ranger and Cowboys and Indians, things like that. And that's what I got. I got like the Lone Ranger and his horse. And man, that was the best Christmas I can remember. And it's all because of all those things, not just that one thing. Not just getting that that Lone Ranger thing, item. But the snow and seeing Santa Claus as a six-year-old. And, uh, man, I hope you see Santa Claus like that still. So tell me your most memorable Christmas. It could be now or it could be back then. Childhood or as an adult. Christmas is just for me aren't the same as when I was a kid for obvious reasons you know, but I try to be excited sometimes it's hard <laughs> so 
So let me hear your stories below. It would be even cooler if you did a video. Uh, but I'm not going to hold you to it. Just share your story. I'll see you in 2021, but I'll see you during the week, this coming week. I'll probably pop up a video or two. Some trains, as usual. I wish you a good rest of your week. I hope your weekend was going fine. Remember the reason for this season. Remember the reason for this time of the year. Help somebody. That's what it's all about, helping people. Helping whoever. People that are less fortunate. People that, are, that may not have the Christmas that they wanted to have this year because of all the all what's going on keep everybody in your thoughts and your prayers be well and until next year <laughs> I'll see you peace peace